everyone, this is Bo Rizzotti, and this is my friend Zach, Martin Kilgore, and this is my other friend Dylan. And uh, although we do like to shower together occasionally, that's not what this video is about. This video is about a natural spring, and we're, and we're very, very, very happy. Hi everyone, this is Mo Rizzotti, and this is my friend Zach Martin Kilgore, and this is my other friend Dylan Chang. And we're very pleased to bring you some information on another spring we discovered here recently in southern Ontario. And this is going to be called the Kissing Bridge Mineral Spring. And we're calling it Kissing Bridge because that's the name of a, a famous covered bridge that's just down the street from this, from this spring. And it's famous in Ontario because it is the actual last covered bridge in Ontario. I believe there are several more in Quebec, but as far as Ontario is concerned, this is the last one. So it's a nice spot to come and visit and you go through that bridge and it's a bit of a time warp. So anyways, I'll let Zach tell you a little bit about this water and then later I'll show you a video with uh, some video directions on how to get there because you can't see it from the road as, as usual. Go ahead, Zach. Yeah, the, uh, we just did a measurement of the various properties of the water and it's very high mineral water so it wouldn't be a regular drinking water. But like you know, said, it's a mineral water. Uh, what do we get? The TDS, which is cold dissolved solids, is 591 which is almost 600. Uh, the temperature was 9.3. So, so this definitely is a spring. And the pH is around 6.8, 6.9, hovering around there. So it's slightly on the acidic side, just off of neutral, which is nice for springs in this area, which are mostly alkaline. And um, we've both been drinking it, all of us, intermittently. It's quite tasty. It's got an earthy taste because of the minerals. Um, but, like we said, it wouldn't be an everyday type of water. You might water some plants with it at home or uh, use it on the, to bathe in or to wash someone's face with. But, um, yeah, what, what do you guys think of that flavor? Yeah, it's a, it's a great tasting water. It tastes different than anything else in the area. Uh, the, you know, with a high TDS, I mean, we're talking, what, 590 TDS on this water. Um, the EPA considers anything over 500 unsafe to drink. But then again, these are people that are telling you to drink tap water. Um, so you can take that with a grain of salt. But it's definitely got an earthy taste to it. And uh, when I've collected this water in the past, um, you're not getting a lot of sediment in the bottom of it like you are in some springs. And actually, we're going to do another video of another water source just about five minutes away from here that people are collecting water from. And it's probably not the best water in the world because it's actually apparently you know like it's obviously a very shallow well which is easily polluted easily contaminated constantly changing temperature taste and color on every every time it rains so you know what i mean yeah that doesn't sound good that sounds really sketchy <laughs> definitely something that you can do better with like I said, if you're coming to get that water, you might as well go two minutes out of your way and come and get this water because it'll be a lot better for you. All right, kids, we're going to show you an actual walkthrough on how to get to the spring right now. Right down there is 1101, and this is the, the road that you come out once you pass through the Kissing Bridge Spring. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, coming down here, the Grand River is on your left. And it's in between 1101 Rivers Edge Drive and the next address is 1071. And as you're approaching the spring, the only landmark really is you will see, um, you're gonna see a gravel pit entrance over here. And as soon as you see that gravel pit entrance, there it is there, then you're gonna see a small little pull-off area. And this is the pull-off area here. How's the water, guys? Good water? Awesome. More people enjoying. Okay, so again, that's the that's the landmark, the gravel pit entrance, and then you'll see the little um, pull-off area here, and this is the trail that you go down to see the spring. There's Zach. There's Dylan, and here's the spring here. Okay. That's how you get to Kissing Bridge Mineral Spring in West Mount Rose, Ontario. Now that you've seen where the spring is, I hope to see every one of you guys here one day or any other spring. If you need to find 
another spring. Always a good thing to do is, is uh, ask around. Ask the locals, ask older people, um, and when you're at springs, ask them. You can find out where other springs are. Um, there's also a database called findaspring.com. It's an incredible database, and there's springs all over the world that people implement them. If you find a spring, put it in. Um, the mascot looks a lot like this. That's by the way. right. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> we all thought that right in the beginning. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, Glad to see you here. I'm glad we could share this this beautiful little spring here with you people out there. And uh, I hope you uh, I hope you have a great day. And have the best day ever. Take it easy, guys. Cheers. Cheers.